stainless steel Marlin Model 60 produced in 2002. It has a 3x9 scope on it and it is, it is a deadly accurate shooter from what I've shot of it. I am easily getting quarter sized groups out at the 50 yard gong here. It is fairly easy to take down. I mean, I still am biased towards my Sears 101, but looking at it compared to something like a 1022, this, in my opinion, is easier to take down. It does, however, have a tube magazine, so not as easy to load and shoot as a 1022, but it is a good rifle. It also has a uh, last round hold open, which I happen to be a fan of, actually. I do happen to like having that last round held open, unlike the 1022, which you can't tell whether that's empty or loaded unless you pull the bolt back. But we're going to be taking and shooting it a little bit here, just having a little bit of fun. I've got, uh, I've got the little plink plates down there, the uh, 22 rimfire plink plates down there, so probably going to shoot those a little. So let's get started here. One thing I don't like is the uh, opening here for the tube magazine is a little large. There, you can actually. I was actually getting. I actually caught myself, but I was managing to get one in backwards. It's not doing it right now on this. Yeah, there it goes. You can see it's wanting to put it in backwards, so you do. The other guns doesn't have don't have that problem. They'll they will not fit in if you try it that way. It was just it was something I caught. I always like to see if that happens or not. I mean, if you're gonna put it in the shape of a round, you should at least make sure it won't go in the other way. Otherwise, what's the real point of it? But, she's loaded up. I'm going to be using this uh, sled here, just because I do not happen to like scopes that much. They don't happen to like me. For these first few shots, anyway. Make sure it's still good. Then I'll go three times here.
gonna try and see what sort of grouping I get on it here. Gonna try some three handed here. Hmm. 